From Bubba Rope, we have the 3 8 inch by 100 foot long winch line. Here you see we're about to install it in a former military Humvee. James here is pulling the old steel cable out. That's step one. You got to get the old cable out. This one is actually held in by a little bolt that goes through the little fitting on the end. Installing the bubble rope, there it is. Hey, it looks pretty cool, huh? It doesn't have a bolt to go through it, so the most tedious, most difficult part of the whole operation was figuring out how to use this little orange tab to thread. The red end is the part that you feed through the tab. You put it through the tab, you put a couple wraps on, then you put it back through the tab again. It's not a difficult process, but it's the most tedious part of the process. You can see I even sped the video up and it's still taking a while for him to get it situated on the reel, but he did get it situated on the reel. Now we start winding. One of the cool things about bubble rope is they start you with a red section. You know, if you're reeling it out, you get to that red section, you have trouble. Past the red section, they have a protective cover. That's why you see black. Here's some more red. So again, if you're reeling out, when you get to the red, you know you gotta stop. Then it turns green. That is your usable working rope that you can spool out. You can see 100 feet. We gotta get this wrapped very well. Oh, did you see the little red tick mark that came through there? Every 20 feet or so, there's a little red tick mark that shows you when you're reeling it out how far you've gone. There we go, it's fully wrapped. You saw how tight it was. Now a quick demo of the rope in action. That is the camo Humvee pulling the white van up the hill through a snatch block on the front of the tan Humvee.